the drive. So now you are set to start the drive. Your head is still. You're looking towards the stern of the boat. You're in that dynamic loaded compression that will enable you to deliver power to the boat, which is now at its slowest point in the stroke cycle. Drive against the footrest equally with both feet. Feel the blade lock against the water. Your strong leg muscles exert pressure. This movement should be the most powerful part of the sequence. And now continue to accelerate the blade through the water. The sequence of exertion, the kinetic chain, should be legs, glutes. The glutes can only be recruited once the heels are down. Core, trunk, and finally, and it's very important that these are the final contributor, the arms. As soon as the pressure on the blade begins to soften, it's time to finish and extract. During the drive, you'll be pushing back with your shoulders towards the bow. Try to align this forward backward movement with the keel. And as we've already said, it's important to ensure that pressure is applied equally through both sides of the body. Try to relax your arms momentarily at the first moment of the drive so that you achieve the feeling of hanging on the oar. This will allow the core and trunk to engage. Remember, there is more power available to you in the first part of the stroke than in the second. So be very conscious of the role that the core and trunk have to play in delivering that power. Once you engage your arms, and this is likely to be once your shoulders have driven back past the line of your hips, ensure that your wrists are remaining flat all the way and your elbows are pointed downwards. Upraised elbows, chicken wings, will inevitably weaken the stroke. Try to bring the oar nearly all the way back to your body and your elbows to the line of your spine. At the finish, your hands should be around level with the bottom of your ribcage. A slight amount of flexion should remain in your knees. At the finish, your shoulders should be low, your chest open, your spine in neutral, and your body at an angle towards the bow. Try to develop a postural self-awareness during the drive. It's a critical aspect of healthy rowing. So here's a checklist of best avoided. Lolling, slumping, hunching, allowing your knees to drift apart, rolling your head. This frequently occurs as a result of uneven or imbalanced rowing. The rowers sitting behind you can be a great and informative sources of feedback in helping you develop your own self-awareness. Be aware of your potential frailties and develop your own checklist to help eradicate these. Remember that your energy should be directed in a horizontal plane towards the bow. Vertical movements encourage the boat to dip and bob. Throughout the drive, breathe out deeply.